Your Majesty, you're most welcome to the 2018 Young Leaders Forum. This forum brings together young leaders from several African countries. Your Majesty, many things have come out. We've had inspirational speakers from across the world. And as a result, the theme of this forum is to connect young leaders, but also to inspire them to think out of the box, get new ideas and new insights. And we were also looking at opportunities that they can tangibly take from here to go back home and implement. One of that has been, throughout the day, we have been announcing some of the opportunities that have come, that have been introduced by our respective partners and speakers. Your Majesty, I would like to invite Mr. Chris Arnold to share. Thank you, Your Majesty. Uh, I've had such a wonderful visit to Uganda and I've met incredible young leaders who've um, made me want to work harder to provide opportunities uh, to this generation, particularly from Africa. Uh, one such opportunity, uh, in conjunction with the Young Leaders Forum, uh, is to, in partnership, host a competition called Team 2030, which is about the uh, achieving of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. And what we're looking for, again, in conjunction with this forum, is to produce teams of five, and we'll tell everybody about how you can set up those teams of five at some point very soon. Um, what I can say is that one opportunity for every team that participates in that will be to join us uh, in Morocco uh, at the World Merit Summit in March. Um, and obviously I want to see you all there. Um, but one team uh, from, uh, that comes out of this uh, representing your countries and from the Young Leaders Forum, one of those teams we will also set a special prize for. The best performing team, the team that does most work to, uh, to engage youth around you and produce more global citizens like you, uh, will be paid for to come with me uh, and others to the United Nations in 2019. And that's come about, that opportunity has come about directly because of the work of the Young Leaders Forum and its sponsors. And I've been so overwhelmed by uh, every one of your individual uh, stories and level of ability, and I'm really pleased to announce that. The second thing I would like to announce is uh, a, an ongoing, uh, increasing partnership with the Young Leaders Forum to strengthen our network. Wilmer has councils in 150 countries and I realize that we need to do much more to uh, support and facilitate your leadership here and with the Young Leaders Forum we will uh, work to support their advisor, uh, an advisory board led by the Young Leaders Forum for developing the Young Leaders, uh, sorry the World Merit Councils in this region so I'm really excited about that. And then finally um, your Majesty, and with, uh, again, the support of most and people at the Young Leaders Forum, I, I would be, uh, I am very proud and privileged, uh, with your permission, uh, to uh, announce you as a global ambassador for uh, the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal, SDG 3, and a global ambassador for the uh, There's no doubt that with uh, your leadership, there's many uh, routes to us achieving the goals and I would like to present uh, a certificate to you uh, saying such. Thank you very much, World Merit. Uh, 
to our young leaders, are you ready for Team 2030? Yes. All right, it's now time to ask you to rise up. May take your seats as His Majesty delivers his address. The distinguished young leaders, the moderators and speakers, <coughs> the conference organizers and partners, ladies and gentlemen, let me start by welcoming, welcoming you all to this very important Young Leaders Forum 2018 under the theme Connecting Young Leaders Today. Today, not only are the youth the largest generation, we are also the most technologically gifted and connected generation in history. Let us just take an example for all of us gathered here today. I am sure that each one of you has at least 2,000 followers on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. If we put these together, just here alone, we have over 200,000 people who are following us. These followers are our connections, our network, and our influence. Now imagine how much connections, network, and influence we can have when we connect the youth of Africa, who are over 60% of the continent's population. I therefore commend and thank the, Opens, the Open Society Initiative for Eastern Africa and Education Forum Africa, organizing this Young Leaders Forum to inspire and connect the young leaders in Africa today. I want to congratulate all the young leaders here today for attending this forum. I believe the Young Leaders Forum has provided you a great opportunity, space and platform to unlock your potential and take action to make Africa a better place. I hope you are inspired and ready to go back and make a positive difference in your respective communities and countries. Africa's youth have tremendous potential and talent to lead and take individual and collective action to make things better. Let us stop lamenting and let us change our mindset and let us start being the masters of our own destiny. Let us resolve to look at problems as opportunities and find solutions rather than wait for solutions to be given to us. Let us do our best to acquire the skills we need to thrive. Let us work together for impact. When we do that, everyone will fall in love with the youth. We will become an attractive proposition and we shall become part of the solution, not the problem. I can assure <coughs> your partners, like the Open Society Initiative and the AC World Merit here, and others will be back as well, as will back us all the way. I want the young leaders here and beyond to know that you must give to receive. Let us give our best. Let us, take our, let us take advantage of every opportunity. Let us leverage every platform to make a positive difference. I therefore expect that from this Young Leaders Forum, you have developed brilliant but practical actions, solutions, and have put in place a mechanism, a mechanism to implement these actions. This is the only way we can walk the talk move from words to actions, from problems to solutions, and show our leaders how it should be done. I shall be happy to lead and open doors and ensure that your proposed actions and solutions are taken and presented to the African The African Union, the regional economic bodies, and the United Nations, among others. So that as the youth we can advocate and influence to ensure that nothing is done for the youth without the youth. I want to encourage all the young leaders here to use your God-given talent, creativity, passion and energy to create solutions that positively contribute to solving today's greatest challenges. But when doing this, please remember the following. One, never seek money or prestige. Be driven by the desire to make a positive difference and contribution to humanity, and the rest will follow you. And two, 
There is no sustainable success without a team. Simply put, pull, simply put, pull, or pull your efforts, synergies, and resources together with others, and you shall succeed in your ventures. However, I am aware that we need to provide the young leaders with tools, financial resources, capacity building, and mentorship to become successful in their ventures. On my part, I have established the Kingoya Youth Innovations Fund that aims to inspire the youth in Africa to develop solutions to end HIV and AIDS, address youth unemployment, ensure food security, promote peace and culture, and end poverty, among others. We will give you funding, capacity building, and mentorship to enable them become to enable them become a powerful force for positive change in their communities and beyond. We will also showcase brilliant <coughs> youth innovations to high-level forums like the African Union and the United Nations General Assembly. I encourage the young leaders here to develop brilliant, impactful solutions, and we shall work together. I therefore invite you all to visit Toro Kingdom. Toro is gifted by nature with bountiful beauty and several tourist attractions. My people will be very pleased to welcome you all. Wow. It is now my pleasure to declare the 2018 Young Leaders Forum closed. I wish you a safe journey back home. Have a Merry Christmas and a blessed 2019. Thank you, Your Majesty.